Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I've got a drugstore haul for you. These are some products. Some are brand new to me, some are brand new in general, and some are repurchases of items I've already used before. I bought some of the stuff at CVS, some at Target, and some at Ulta. Um, so I probably could have bought everything all in one place, but I was kind of here, and then I was there, and then I was there, so I was picking up a few things here and there. Um, and yeah, before I get into all this fun stuff, if you've never seen my face before and this is your first time on my channel, go ahead and click on my face now so that you can be subscribed and I post two new videos every single week. Let's start with hair and just get that out of the way because I only have two items to talk about and they are matching. I've got the shampoo and the conditioner and these are from John Frieda. This is the Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightning Shampoo and the Sheer Blonde Go sheer blonde go blonder lightening conditioner and these are over the course of using the bottle supposed to lighten your hair up to two shades they say up to two shades when you use the lightning spray with it which i have used before in the past and i've definitely seen results from that so i thought i'd give these a go because i'm running out of my Eprivage shampoo and conditioner i've got about two or three more hair washes worth of that stuff so these are going to be what i'm using for the spring and summer i've heard lots and lots and lots and lots of good reviews on these and i used the conditioner like five or six years ago um, and I liked it a lot. It didn't do much on its own so I think maybe the system together will work a little bit better. And I know that some people on YouTube have had a bad reaction to this as well. I know that I've used the lightning spray and the conditioner and I haven't had a reaction to either of those so I don't think the shampoo will give me a reaction either. So hopefully that goes well and hopefully I'll get a little bit blonder. I absolutely love my blonde hair. I love being blonde but I don't necessarily love um, getting my hair bleached as often so I think maybe this will help me go between bleach by the way, when this video goes up, I will have bought these yesterday, so I think the sale will still be going on. They're buy one, get one half off at CVS. Let's move on to skincare. The first is a repurchase. This I bought about two weeks ago. This is Noxzema. I have gone through probably 10 tubs of this in my lifetime. I've talked about it in multiple hauls. I've talked about it in multiple skincare videos. This is one of my all-time, like, standby classic favorites when I just want to get the job done. It really deep cleanses the pores. You can feel it tingly on your face, and um, when I've used this, I just feel really refreshed. I also got this because it's great for summer if you feel really hot um, or you get sunburn on your face. It really takes the heat out of that. I bought this while I was sick and I had a fever and so I put this like on my face while I was feeling icky and gross and bleh and it definitely helped to make me feel less feverish. Another repurchase is Cremo Cream from Cremo Cream. Is that the name of the brand too? Great. Cool. This stuff is bomb if you shave any part of your body or face. Um, I just use this on my face and it literally makes me feel like a baby. I noticed from the very first time that I used this that it was different from any other shaving cream I've ever used. It's the closest shave I've ever had. Um, so I just repurchase this every time I'm getting low on my other one just so I don't run out before I finish because that would just be the worst to have to like shave with something else once you find like your holy grail shaving product. And I'm, I'm like 900% sure you could use this anywhere on you that you want to shave. I don't know. There's nothing like weird in it, I don't think. I have a facial cleansing milk from Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science, and this is the Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk for Dry and Sensitive Skin. I actually did not purchase this. One of my friends bought this and didn't care for it, um, so she gave it to me, and I have used it twice, and I like it a lot. It definitely takes off light makeup. I have not used it to try and take off like heavy crazy eye makeup or anything but it will definitely take off like what I have on today which is just like BB cream, bronzer, brows, um, and lip balm and it's it's nice. It smells really good. I don't feel stripped at all because it is that kind of milk formula. It looks like almost like a moisturizer or a lotion when you kind of squirt it out but I thought I would include it in this video because it is um from the drugstore and it is inexpensive and it's something that I think might be cool to try out if you have a dry or sensitive skin type. I'm just gonna throw this into skincare because it doesn't really fit anywhere else but this is just cotton rounds from Ulta. I always buy them. Um, I normally buy the little like rectangle shaped ones but they're so expensive and I just wanted to like see how different these were. I've had these in the past and they're fine. They're just not quite as like fancy schmancy as, I don't know what this meant, I don't know why that was fancy, but um, I normally get this, the like rectangle ones and they're just like Barbie pillows and I think this will be fine. I don't like this fluffier end, I like the more like almost papery, that's a weird way to say it, it's like soft but it's more smooth and this is more fluffy. I like the smoother side so I guess I'll just have to use 
just that side. The rectangular ones are all this sort of texture. Last, I'm going to talk about some makeup. I'm going to start with this because it's the closest thing to me. This is a lipstick from L'Oreal. This is from their collection exclusive, and this is Leah's Pink. And they have like a collection. They have like all... I don't know how many there are, probably like 10 different um, actresses and models and whatnot. And they each have their version of whatever color is trending. So they did a nudes, they did a reds, and now we're on to pink. And these are sheer matte pinks. I've wore this for like 30 seconds the other day just to see what the color looked like on me. And it is beautiful. This is Leah's pink and we have a completely different complexion. Um, but I went for this one anyways just because I really like the color. I think it's beautiful for summer. It is like a pinky red and it almost has, I'm gonna do a close-up swatch, but it almost has a little bit of a pearl but not a frost or a shimmer. It's just luminous on the lip but still matte at the same time and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I really also want to pick up, I think Blake was the other one that I wanted to pick up and that one was more corally pink and a little bit lighter and brighter. Also from L'Oreal, I've got two eye products. The first is another one of the Color Riche single eyeshadow little cream gel powder shadow things. And this time I picked up 203 Cafe Olay, which is like more matte and it's kind of like a taupey gray color. I thought this would be really pretty just as like a transition crease color and kind of underneath the eye. When I use my other one, I also have Quartz Fumé, and I feel like it works fine with my other eyeshadows, but I feel like it would work even better with more of the same formula, so this will be great to kind of transition out in the crease. I like the formula of this so much. I want to pick up more colors. I just, I'm so boring when it comes to eyeshadows, and I have like every eyeshadow color that a human being could possibly need, so I'm really picky when it comes to buying eyeshadows. Also from L'Oreal, I picked up the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt, and I picked up Black is Black Waterproof. Um, I just I wanted something cheap and good to use during tutorials and things, and I really like the way Waterproof holds my curl, and I've seen so many great reviews of this on YouTube so far, like everyone has been trying it out and talking about it, so I thought that I would pick that up and try it out for you, um, and possibly use it in some tutorials in the future, because I just, all of my black mascaras aren't waterproof, and I find that they don't hold the curl as well as I want them to. Um, and this is supposed to be more volumizing, and I normally just go for lengthening mascaras, but I think sometimes with a more dramatic eye look, I need something with a bit more volume. If you tried this, let me know. If you want to see, like, a review on any of the products that I'm talking about today, um, let me know in the comments below. I bought an orange lip liner. This is the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner from Rimmel in the shade... Call Me Crazy 104. I have so many orange lipsticks and no orange liners. I what? So I picked this up while I was shopping today. It is definitely more on the red side of orange, but it's still an orange. It's not a red, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm, I'm just talking. It's not a very yellowy orange, so I feel like it's going to be flattering, and I feel like it will go with more than just orange lipsticks. I feel like I can use it with a red lipstick to tint it orange, or a pink lipstick to tint it coral. Um, and I've don't normally go for twist up lip liners. I really like the NYX Sharpen lip liners. Um, those are my favorite. And I wanted to try something different and I really like Rimmel and I thought this color was unique and interesting so I'm excited to try that. I got a lip balm that looked interesting at the little like checkout section of Ulta. I got this as a gift for my boyfriend Casey. He saw this the other day and thought it looked interesting but didn't end up picking it up so I thought it looked interesting too and I kind of wanted to try it myself so I picked one up um, and I'm gonna let him have it but I'm gonna try it first because and this is Dr. Lip Bang's Lip Freak, the strongest buzzing lip balm in the whole world, and it's in the um, flavor Berry Sinister. I hope this isn't tinted. I don't think it's tinted. I'm just scared that this is gonna, like, be, like, plumping and, like, make my lips, like, really red and sore. I can't use, like, the Too Faced lip injection gloss because it just, like, makes me red from, like, here to here, like, all over my whole face. Um, and some plumping lip products have been known to do that, so I try to stay away from anything super strong. But this just looks so interesting, and I don't know if it's supposed to be plumping, per se, or just, like, tingly, buzzy. It says buzzing. Buzzing is an interesting word. So I'm going to put this on right now, and then I'm going to talk about the last item that I have um, in just a second. So let's... Okay, okay, you're sealed real good. Okay. Ooh, it is this color. It is definitely this color. Hopefully it's not tinted like that. Mm, only a little, but I don't think it'll show up on my lips. So let me take off my lip gloss. It smells interesting. It's not as berry smelling as I would have thought it would be. So we'll let that sit and then we'll 
talk about it in a second if it starts doing anything and buzzing and feeling any kind of different. Um, and the last item that I have to talk about is from Vichy. This is the Vichy Derma Finish Coverage Cosmetics, and I got the lightest shade 15. I got this mostly as like a spot concealer, and this is probably the largest bottle of spot concealer I'll ever have in my life. I'll probably never finish it. But Lisa Eldridge has talked about this probably 4,000 times on her channel as being one of her favorites for amazing coverage and for kind of spot concealing. She used it, I think, in her acne coverage video, and I've been having more breakouts recently. This, I think, is going to be great for that. I've used it to cover up a giant spot on my face. It's been on for about eight hours, so who knows what it looks like now. But I've already started trying this out, and I really like it a lot. It's definitely really good. I think I need to buy the other colors for my kit. I will say that I did buy this at CVS, so I did get it at the drugstore, but it is not inexpensive. It is $30. Okay, so it's starting to feel like something. I thought it was starting to feel like something a second ago, but now it's really starting to feel like something, and it... Buzzing? It feels like, like, little... Yes, buzzing, I guess. I guess that's the word, but it feels like tingly. It feels like lip plumpery. Not as bad as the Too Faced ones yet. Um, probably like the the Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory. It feels like that, and it's getting stronger as I'm talking. This is weird. It would be really weird is if you were wearing this and then you kissed somebody, and then they were like really confused about what was happening to their face, because this is very interesting what's happening on my lips. I don't know that I could use this as just like my lip balm all the time. It's very strange. It's very weird. So let's find out what Casey thinks about this. Maybe I will try and take a clip of him trying this on um, when he gets home from work tonight. His reaction might be really funny. He doesn't really like, like he likes Burt's Bees and like how minty and tingly that is, but this is like a whole level above that, maybe like three or four levels above that. It's very interesting, it's very weird. Is it making my lips bigger? Do they look plump? Uh, do I, they don't have a mirror anywhere near me. So. I don't think it's making my lips any bigger. It's not designed to, so if you're looking for a lip plumper, this is not it. Um, it's really weird, it's really interesting. Has anybody else ever used this product? If you've tried it and you like it, or if you tried it and you don't like it, I want to know down below like what your thoughts are. They also have another one called Cinnamon. This one is Berry Sinister. Um, and it has a mustache on it, that's cute. Um, uh, but anyways, lip balm buzzing on my lips. That was everything. I'm really excited to try all of it. I'm really excited to try this and see if it lightens my hair at all, and I'm also, like, about to put this on my eye and just see what happens. So that is everything. I hope you all enjoyed this haul. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if there's anything else from the drugstore that you are dying for me to try out because there are so many cool things and new fun things that are coming out that I saw when I was out shopping that I was tempted to pick up, but I showed some restraint um, and I tried to only pick up things that I needed or things that I really, really wanted to try. And yes, so go ahead and leave the comments below. While you're down there, open up the description box so that you can see a link to every single product that I have talked about today down there. So if you want to try any of them out as well, you can purchase them there, as well as links to all of my social media. There's a link for my Facebook page, as well as a link for my Instagram, Twitter, and my Snapchat, all at John John Talks. Click on my face now if you are not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be here for both videos that I post every week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.